What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys probably already noticed, we are in my kitchen and today I have another recipe video for you guys. This one is a little different because you guys know I'm on the perfect diet right now, making amazing progress, absolutely love it, and I've been cutting out as many processed foods as I can and really focusing on whole clean sources of nutrition. So when it came to a recipe, a lot of stuff includes dairy. A lot of recipes include things that I can't have right now. So I figured why not make a quick, easy, simple, high protein quesadilla that is not only delicious, but helps me stick to my goals, can give you guys a quick recipe recipe to whip up if you so desire. So if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then as always, you guys know I'm here to cook for you and taste test. Let's do it! As far as ingredients go, this is a pretty simple ingredient list, guys. Only five ingredients in total, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over them with you right now. Starting off, since it's a quesadilla, we did need ourselves some tortillas. I decided to go with whole wheat tortillas, and these are the carb balance ones that only have four grams of net carbs, loads of fiber. If you're gonna buy tortillas, this is probably the best brand you can buy. Low calorie, high fiber, tastes amazing, good stuff. So we'll be using this for our quesadilla. I also have some pica de gallo we're gonna put in there for some flavor, since we don't have any cheese in this. We wanna get as much natural, rich flavor as we can, and I personally love pica de gallo. Lots of micronutrients in there, extremely healthy. We'll be including that as well. And then for our protein source now, you can go ahead and cook up your own chicken, your own lean ground beef, whatever you wanna do. I decided today, put a little twist on it, I bought one of these organic rotisserie chickens from Kroger. I'm gonna take it apart, you guys will see here in a little bit, but we're gonna be using this chicken instead. Keep in mind, from a macronutrient standpoint, this chicken has a little more fat in it than regular chicken you'd cook yourself, so be wary of that and factor it in your macros accordingly. Moving over, we're also gonna be using some mild salsa on this quesadilla. Once again, some more flavor, micronutrients, and then to help add a little bit of that taco flavor, we got some Ortega taco seasoning mix. I went with the 40% less sodium version just because if there's ever options for less sodium versions, I usually tend to just do those. Keep that sodium in check. So let's go ahead and get this recipe started. You are gonna need a large stovetop skillet or pan for this, and we're gonna go ahead and preheat this to a medium heat. Let it start preheating while we get our chicken and other ingredients ready. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our rotisserie chicken ready to go. So I'm gonna go in here and cut into to it and I'm gonna separate out the actual meat from the chicken itself while also removing the skin because that's where a lot of your fat content is gonna be at. And I'm gonna weigh it out on my food scale right here. We're gonna use 224 grams or eight ounces of this. 133, I always feel like I'm doing something wrong when I do this, I don't know why. Cutting into a carcass. And there we go, 224 grams. Then at this point, the rest of your rotisserie chicken, you can go ahead and chop up, store for later, do whatever you wanna do with it. Like I said, make sure you're removing the skin because for each 28 gram serving of this without skin, Skin, you still have about two grams of fat in there. With the skin, you're talking about five grams of fat. Just keep that in mind, guys. This skin is by far the most delicious part, but definitely where a lot of that extra nutrition you don't really need is coming from. And now that I got all my rotisserie chicken here, we're gonna go in and just shred it up into little pieces. If you have a food processor or a blender, you can do that too if you want it to be shredded, but heck, I'm a bro. I'm just gonna pull it apart with my hands. I know my mom's watching this right now, shaking her head. I taught you better than that, Remington. You did, mom, you did. Touche. <laughs> I'm actually excited for this, guys. I've been eating chicken I've prepped to myself for so long that I'm really pumped to see how this rotisserie chicken turns out. The last time I did this recipe, it was with just regular chicken, so I think this will add a whole lot more flavor. All right, that looks about shredded up and up to me. Now, in order to get these tortillas how we want them for the quesadilla, we're gonna hit our pan with a light coating of cooking spray. So get in here and hit it. There we go. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and take one of your quesadillas and place it in the pan here. I like to push down on it and move it around. I think that just helps it soak up some of that flavor in there from the oils. And if you want to, you can use extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil in here, but I just, when I'm using canned sprays, I don't count those calories. You want more flavor, either of those two substitutes will work. Now, after this has been in here for a little bit, you should be able to see the other side of it looking a little cooked like that, then you know we're in business. So we're gonna go ahead and take our chicken and place it in here on the quesadilla. There we go. It's gonna be quite a bit of chicken, by the way. You don't have to use this much, but I'm really trying to hit my protein macros because that's the hardest thing to hit for a lot of people is getting adequate protein in. So if you can take a recipe like this, make it delicious and add in as much protein as you possibly can, then hey, it's only helping you get to your goals faster. Goals to build muscle and be lean, right fellas? Right fellas? There we go. It's all the chicken on there. Probably could have shredded it a little better, but hey, we're doing it big. All right, now what we want to do is go ahead and add in our pico de gallo. I already weighed it out. We have 84 grams here. So I'm just going to kind of throw this on top and then I'm 
also gonna take my taco seasoning here. I probably should have put it on first. I already weighed it out. We have 12 grams of this as well. We'll be throwing on here too. Boom. Then now at this point, we're gonna take our other quesadilla here. We're gonna spray it with some cooking spray and place it on top, press together. And you're gonna very carefully, cause this is a thick quesadilla, you wanna go ahead and flip it. Whoop. Ah, minor technical difficulties, but we can fix them. There we go. Move that around in there. Good as new. No one's seen anything. <laughs> There's zero finesse on this cooking channel. And so far, so good, guys. This thing is smelling amazing. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Making sure we get as much of our toppings here. I think I would recommend using less protein if you don't want it to be as messy. You know, make it stick together a little better. But hey, there we go. Move it around. All right, guys. I think this is done. Now we're just going to take our quesadilla, try not to spill any of it, and migrate it over to the plate. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Fork here to help manipulate. And then up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that's that's how you do it. And then once your quesadilla is done, I went ahead and already weighed out my salsa once again. We have 112 grams here. I'm just gonna take this up and place some of my salsa on this quesadilla as well. Help cool it down a little bit at the same time. Boom, put the lid back on. <laughs> lid, put the top back on. There we go. And voila. And this is our healthy bodybuilding quesadilla. Now this probably would've stuck together better if I was allowed to have dairy in my diet right now, which I would've used fat-free cheese on this to add some protein in there. But right now we are cutting that out. So this will have to do, but I'm telling you, that looks pretty dang good to me. What do you guys think? Comment below. Would you eat that or not? <laughs> well, I'm about to regardless. So taste test time. And it is officially taste test time, guys. The moment you've all been waiting for. I went ahead and cut this up into four individual pieces. That way it's a little easier to eat. And like I said, nice fits in your hand right here. I was a little worried it was gonna fall apart a little more than it is, but it seems like we're not too bad off. <laughs> it is so hard to move this tripod around and try to cook stuff without burning it at the same time. I'm telling you guys, you don't see that, but I experience it. I live it. <laughs> Day in the life, Remington James. All right, whew, let's go. What's the over and under? Gonna be good? Gonna be bad? What you think? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Try this. Mmm. This tastes like the Pringles guy's mustache. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. If you are tired of the traditional chicken, rice, broccoli, whatever, you're trying to find a good way to get in some carbs, get in some fiber, get in some protein, and also get in some micronutrients, this is an amazing recipe, guys. Literally has everything we need here. Nothing about this really takes me off my goals too much. The tortilla being a little processed, yeah, maybe a little, but we definitely put our best foot forward in that regard, so this is incredible. This rotisserie chicken, guys. If you haven't had this in a while, mm, give it a shot. Super good. And you don't gotta prep it. <laughs> and you don't gotta prep it. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of that here in a second. But first, let's go over the macros that are in this. In this entire recipe, there is 730 calories. But once you see the macronutrient breakdown, you'll realize that we're getting a lot of good calories from this meal. Overall, we have 20 grams of fat, which could have been dropped considerably if we'd have prepped our own chicken. But I used the rotisserie chicken, removed the skin. There's about two grams of fat per every 28 gram serving. So I factored that into here as well. So I try to give you guys as close to as accurate macros as I possibly can, but you can cut that fat way down. The only fat you'd really get is about six grams from both of the tortillas. So a little tip right there. And then we have 62 grams of carbohydrates in total, but what makes that number a little more impressive is that there is 35 grams of fiber. So our net total of carbs is still really low, getting a lot of fiber in our system, and heck, that's another goal we can cross off the list for the day. And the overall protein count in this recipe is 80 grams. So heck, that is a lot of protein, guys. And if you're the type that doesn't need that much protein at one meal or doesn't need that much protein throughout the course of the day, like I said, you can take the quantities that you use for your proteins, cut them way down, do what you gotta do. This is an easy recipe, versatile recipe, guys. You've seen that. Definitely one of my finest bro cooking 101 moments. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Try this out, comment below, let me know what you guys think about it because I personally can't get enough. Let's get in here. Mm -hmm. I feel like adding fat-free cheese to this would have just made it perfect. Melted that cheese in there. When you toast the uh, tortillas, so they get a little crunchy. Oh. Can you hear that crunch? Mm, so good. Dieting doesn't mean that you have to eat foods that are devoid of any flavor and are bland in order to hit your goals, guys. You can make stuff like this, fit your macros, make really healthy dishes, and I'm telling you, you won't even really feel like you're dieting. This diet I've been on for the last little bit, I feel the best I've ever felt. It's because I've been trying to incorporate more real food into my diet. And I really think that goes a long way, making you feel better. So hopefully, like I said, you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the recipe videos, make sure you hit that like button. This week's admittedly wasn't as complex because honestly, the diet I'm on, I didn't want to break the series, but I still wanted to bring you guys good content. So hopefully you guys don't mind. Thank you for everything. You guys are incredible. We are almost at 110,000 subscribers, which is insane. We are growing at such a phenomenal rate. And uh, it's because of you guys. It's because you guys are here supporting the channel, watching it, <laughs> commenting, and engaging. Aging. YouTube sees that and they're recommending me to more people. So hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. And as always, 
Don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know. I've never done that before. <laughs> Whose day you can make it better? With that, I'm out of here. This has been a Remington James production. <laughs> I'm just messing this all up. And I will see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. And shout out to Chris Jones real quick. Mm, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. <laughs> Later, guys.